So, so I know you mentioned being in the AHL can be a good thing, which I agree. And, you know, you could play in Austin or now there's a team in San Diego and no offense to the wonderful people at Utica, but that place is horrific. Now I got to <laughs> ask you, you dealt with a robbery there. No, as he said, I got to get this out of you. You got robbed there. Yeah, dude, I got robbed at gunpoint um, <gasps> in my own crib. It's fucking was, insane. Uh, dude, crazy. This is like my, my go-to story. I've told it so many times, but. It was um it was actually after the gold medal game of World Juniors. I think it was the year that US beat Canada in a shootout. Um I think Parsons was in that that year or something. But I was living with Jordan Subban at the time and you know, Subi had gone to bed um around like ten thirty, eleven o'clock or whatever. So I I was a couple hours behind him and I was just dozing off and the back door on our um our house didn't lock, so I, I heard the back door open and I was like, you know, Subi, you know, we had banter back and forth as roommates in my head. I'm like, what the fuck is Subi doing? Like, I'm trying to fall asleep, like whatever. And then I hear like wet shoes on the hardwood floor. And I'm like, that's kind of weird. Like, you know, maybe Subi's getting something or so I called him. and I could hear him in his room, like across the hall. And then I could also hear like noises out in the living room. So I was like, I don't know, like you always hear shit in your house and you, you'd go out and check and there's nothing there. So I just like got out of bed. I was in my boxers and I'm like walking down the hall and this, this dude like turns the corner. He's got like all his shit in his arms. And I was like, what the fuck are you doing? And he's like, I'm taking your shit. And I was like, oh, God damn, like <laughs> you need a hand or something. Like he was just so confident. Like it definitely wasn't his first time doing it. Take the um, toaster. Yeah, seriously. So I, I don't touch my PlayStation though. Oh yeah. Dude, that's all he took, man. I was rattled. Like he, that's, he only ended up taking the Xboxes, but yeah, I like followed him out into the snow and I was just like still in my boxers. I like, put my hand on him. I was like, Hey man, like if you just give us the stuff back, like I won't call anyone, like no harm, no foul, whatever. And you know, I kind of switched the stuff over into his other arm and like pulled the gun on me. And oh, I was like, shit. Hey man, go ahead. Like it's all good. All you. Yeah, and yeah. Um, you forgot the NFL blitz. <laughs> yeah. seriously. <laughs> so I, I, um, Gator. Yep. What else you want? Here's my wallet. Yeah anything man um so he got in the car and they started driving away i like ran inside grabbed my phone and i like chased after him and i took a couple pictures of the license plate actually i still got them on my phone um and so like when the cops showed up i just showed them the, the plate numbers and they found the guy in like 10 minutes we found um, him mike babcock jr <laughs> yeah that's right i was like yeah, i think his name was mike i don't know uh, <laughs> But, uh, yeah, so we ended up, like, going to the police station. We had a game the next day. I remember I called – because Greener was my coach at the time. And I called Greener at, like, 4 in the morning. I'm like, hey, I just got fucking robbed. Like, I'm in the police station. Like, this is crazy. I just wanted to let you know. He's like, all right, I'll see you for morning skate. I was like, fuck. <laughs> I was like, oh, you're like, oh, trying, come yeah, on, I was like, maybe Greener. trying to get out of the morning skate. Um, you're like, Greener, you ever so, had a Glock to your temple, buddy? Fuck, yeah, can I get a day yeah. off? <laughs> yeah so it, it was a, it was a wild experience man i got lucky i mean it, it was kind of stupid chasing after him you know in hindsight but you know it, you always watch these movies and you're like fuck like if i got robbed i'd just beat the shit out of the guy but when it actually happens it's kind of like i froze man i was like i don't know what the fuck to do you so, gotta watch those yeah, internet shit, videos man. of that guy what is it in detroit <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <Now he's>... yeah yeah <laughs> that's right Hey, the craziest part of that an ambulance, is, but not for me. Yeah. <laughs> the craziest part of that story to me is that you lived in Utica and you couldn't lock your back door. Like, come on. <laughs> well, yeah. So we were bitching at our landlord like the whole the whole year. Really, we were like, "Hey, like this fucking door doesn't lock." Like, and she's like, she was the sweetest woman. She was like ninety five. Um, she went to church like three times a week. She's like, yeah, yeah, I'll check it out. I'm like, all right. Like, you know, you can't really lay into her. You know, she's too nice. So, but the funny thing actually was it, it ended up being her son who set us up to get robbed. Get so, the fuck dude, out yeah, of cause, here. Because it was so set up. Like the guy had a van like waiting. So they were like going to swipe the whole house. Because we were, we played the next night and then we were supposed to go on the road. And so I guess this guy got, this is what the uh, DA ended up telling us. He was like, the guy kind of got caught up in this, like, you know, drug predicament where he couldn't pay this guy. And he was like, Hey, these guys are going on the road. Like they're not going to be there. He mixed up the date by, he was one day off. He's like, the door doesn't lock. Like you can go swipe the whole house and like, we'll call it even. And so, um, it was just, yeah, it was just Jeez. fucking wild. Man. The sticky bandits. Wow. Yeah, the, the, the mutton cuts, yeah. the, 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 yeah. is that the dumb and dumber mutton cuts or whatever? Yeah, the mutton cuts. <laughs> yeah, so they, yeah, the guy just messed up the date by one day, and you know, ended up. I think he got ten years. Like we had to go on trial and everything. Like I had to testify in oh, front of shit. him. I had to, 
I had to go in front of the Fucking jury and do the PlayStation. Whole thing, so. It's nerve wracking, isn't it? Testifying, huh? Dude, it was actually Wicked worse bad. than the robbery, honestly. No like, shit. Yeah, I mean, like you're going in and like, I don't know. You don't want to like be a rat or anything, <laughs> you know? Like, I don't know. You, it's tough, like you know, calling a guy out right in front of him. But like, they make they made me like stand up and like point at him, like physically point at him, and be like, "This is the guy that yeah, like, whatever six me nine. Up. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Fucking putting guys away. You gotta get you gotta get the six nine tattoo now right up here. Yeah, right. Yeah. Hey, yeah. you're hey, you're big with the Halloween costumes. You should go as him next year. I don't know, man. That's uh, <laughs> I'm, well, I'm sure I'm sure the Canucks fans will be okay with that. I'm sure they won't sure. fucking have the check mark brigade going nuts. Oh, they'd be going nuts for sure. 